My dudes, welcome to the Hotline and Diecast. My name's Walter, that dude's Oso. We're gonna grab him a treat real quick. I'll be right back. Well, all right, I think we're good. Um, hey, welcome to the show. Hope you guys are well. Hope your pegs are full. You're finding all the cards you've been looking for. Um, maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you're. Maybe you're not a hunter. Maybe you're a gatherer. You know, buy online mostly, and and that's cool. That's definitely a great way to fulfill the hobby. Uh, I personally enjoy the hunt. No, it's not. Sometimes it's not cool when you come home with no food, but you know, it's, I do enjoy the hunt. So that's me. But I, I do wonder, especially in my particular scenario where my commute is really far to get to retail. So <laughs> now that I understand what I'm looking for, is it better for me to just order online, pay a little or a lot more and go about it that way? You know, but that takes, that's a big equation. That's, that's gas, energy, time, what fruit I may bring home versus the amount invested. Yeah, that's just, a, and maybe easily decided by your gut. But I wonder if you're a hunter or a gatherer. It, and please let me know in the comments. If you're a hunter or a gatherer, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't have a car. Cyclist. I, I mean, I'm a, Dude, I go hunting on my bike all the time, you know, and I live in a really small town though, so it's hard to explain. Uh, yeah, that's just me. And 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 in fact, um, I did I did buy a new car. A uh, I bought a Euro van. Really excited about it. Unfortunately, the, the driver's side window didn't work, so I went to Hamilton and stopped by a place, uh, All Valley Auto Glass, and left there with, obviously, a flask and a basket of cars, which is which we're going to get into a little later. But first, we're going to start with the news. I think one thing that unifies most of uh, you guys, the subscribers and or hopefully, you know, new subscribers is we all collect Hot Wheels and or Matchbox, so Mattel brands mostly. And I like to uh, I like to keep up on my, my Mattel news and with that I like to share it with you guys. So let's talk Mattel news. Uh, first thing, Mattel, Barbie. Barbie's a huge segment of Mattel if you guys don't know already. Hot Wheels was started by the husband of the gal who started Barbie. Ten years later, Hubby was like, I want to do this. Stole this idea from these other guys, really. But I think I can do a better job. You got some pull at Mattel. See if they'll do it for me. Boom. Hot Wheels. 68. We're booming. But Barbie, uh, being pop culture and really paying attention to detail, they're releasing, if they haven't already released, their uh, first Barbie with Down Syndrome. Now, that's, that's super cool. I'd like to think that some of this money is going towards a foundation. I'd like to think it won't be their first action there. That's cool. And the Down Syndrome thing is cool. I tell you what, if I know I know one fellow in particular. I have a few friends with Down Syndrome. More than a few, I think. But one fellow in particular I'm thinking of. You could have the worst day of day, and I guarantee two minutes with this dude, you... you good you're fine you're happy you're you've refound the purpose in life just about and maybe that's the the beauty in that that nightmare is uh you know with him his ability to maintain such a funny jovial and positive outlook yeah yeah seen it. I mean, he, you've seen him get smoked on a skateboard. Smoked. And I, I'd like to repeat all the jokes and all, but they won't make sense. But dude was so positive through that experience. So so good on you, Mattel. Um, 
if you guys are still buying Barbies for your kids, maybe maybe pick one up. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm asking here, but I'm just sharing. What else? Uh, Mattel. Uh, Mattel right now, you know, they're still like 22% down, and that's a huge number when you're a company that size. So they're 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 doing what they can to stay afloat. And one another thing they're doing is they partnered up with an, another large large brand that is also feeling that pain because the brick and mortar landscape is changing. You know, um, there's gatherers, people who shop online, and uh, that's the gap. So. The Gap and Mattel are merging together. Mattel and The Gap are gonna be releasing some Barbie clothing first and foremost. You're gonna see that this spring, summer, hitting the market, uh, the Barbie movie with it in tow, so everything's, this is marketing. And in the back to school fall time, you're gonna start seeing some Hot Wheels branded stuff at Gap, which should hopefully be cool because you can imagine it's gonna be some vintage -y, stuff so some stuff you might I, I might actually want to buy rather than some of the uh stuff you may get off some of the websites that i'm going to talk about later but uh so yeah those two brands are collaborating i don't know if it's going to go the other way around you're going to see a gap themed t1 or something that might be actually kind of cool we'll see what else do i want to talk about oh Legend Store, Legend Store, they got that Honda S2000. It's a beaut, it's a beaut. And, and you guys can get this, if obviously, if you attend the Legends Tour. You can also get it online um, on the Legends Tour website. I think right now they still have a couple of those uh, Silverados. They're, they're beautiful. You guys can jump over there. I'll put the link in the description, of course. Uh... Also, wait, the Golden Edition Twin Mill. That'll be cool. That's, you got to buy, what, $10 or more before tax between May 1st and July 29th. Score that thing. Um, you know, the E, the E Gen, the Death of the V8 Twin Mill. There we go. I mean, what, the Twin Mill had what? It had like, was it a V8? No, it was like a V16. So, quite the opposite to be an E. Hmm. What else in the news? Sorry, guys, I'm checking my notes. I think that might be it, you know? Other than that, uh, I'll tell you what. Hot Wheels just dropped a brand new set of Fast and Furious. Totally. They did. They totally did. You're going to be having your mind blown. There's this, 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 uh, there's this box set. You probably haven't seen it. No, and wait, there's also this 10 card slim set. Ah, you probably haven't seen it. I will say in that 10 card slim set though, there's an all black Supra. All black cars from Hot Wheels are rare, so those are pick up. There's also a Hellcat all black, but that super is going to be the car. Oh, that hot dang. They also released a new premium set. That's how we slide into that. So from the Too Fast, Too Furious series, the 69 Chevy Camaro. 69. It's got a, a proper drag stance on it. Cool. It's got the hidden headlights. Actually, a really nice casting. I'm not so worried about the sets anywhere. And shout out, uh, I went over to my homie Matt's house because uh, in this case, I was a gatherer. I couldn't get out and hunt, and he asked me if I needed these cars, and I said, yeah. And what's funny is Matt happens to be the same guy who owns all the Heli Auto Glass. He's part of the People Helping People crew. Shout out to you, Matt. Thank you so much, dude. You always help me out when I need it. So I'm in a Fast and Furious, but I, I'm trying to no longer be a sucker. I'm not out there trying to grab that 10 pack and that box set and, and these. I'm just gonna try to find the cards I like and thank heaven uh, Matt picked that one up. Also, I love supercars or hypercars rather too. 
So here's your Lycan Hypersport. I know they've done this one, but they've only done it once. And Guilty of doing exactly what I'm trying to no longer do. I just want the castings. Um, but really stoked on this one. Lastly, the Toyota Land Cruiser, the FJ60. This is from the Hobbs and Shaw, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. But this is a great casting. This is still pretty new. They haven't made very many of these castings. And they did really good on this. So I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Crap. Because I have these three, will I buy the other two when I see them? Probably. Dang it, because I'm a sat guy. But the other two cars, pardon me, are the Plymouth GTX and that all black Hellcat, which you're also going to be able to get in a mainline version in that 10 pack slim set thing. I don't know why they do it to us. I mean, Hot Wheels used to have a more clever way of mixing it up too. You know, and they find their ways, but I miss the old way. I miss the old way, and we're going to talk about the old way. But first, we're going to talk about this way. Finally have a complete team transport set again. Amen. Finally scored the 80 Dodge Macho Power Wagon with the Retro Rig. Man, I hate it because every time those three drop, I rarely get all three at once, so... Those moments in time where my set is incomplete, but it, today it is complete. Lastly, from the big homie, Matt. I love how he sent me a picture. He's like, you want this? I was like, hell yeah, I want that. Got the Datsun Chase, the 240Z from Muscle Machines. Accidentally a fan. You start with Hot Wheels, you, you start growing and... Muscle Machines become part of it. I've got a couple chases. If you saw my last episode, I found those three Nomad chases on the peg. I only brought one home, but that's because I have another. I think we might have to start cracking them open, but this thing doesn't look bad at all. This thing looks really good, in fact. So, Thanks, my dude. People helping people. Get to the next part. Before I get to the next part, I'm letting this week carry on um, in regard to the drawing. And so with that, I thank all of you guys who have been donating to the channel. Really appreciate your guys' support. Hopefully you find value in what you're supporting. And if not, let me know in the comments. I'll take it. I can take it. Let me know what you need, what you're missing, what I should do more of, what I should do less of. What I should do more of is maybe put some more stuff in this here box. This uh, Volkswagen combi centered box uh, is still there and I'm just gonna throw a couple more few things in there I've been discovering of late. And I already wanna say congratulations to that winner and congratulations to you Chandler Charms, my guy. I got you, uh, I got your message, obviously I replied. And, uh, but a big congratulations to you. Thank you for supporting the channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this carry on until, uh, uh, pardon me, uh, Sunday again after 5, and or Sunday till 5 p.m. So if you donate any amount to the channel, you're in the drawing. There we go. Good luck to everyone. Hmm. That's my sister. She doesn't donate to the channel. What I wanted to talk about. Get back to it. Don't need notes for this. I do need notes. Because. Well, I'm, I'm, they're not even my notes I'm going to share. They're someone else's notes. But in this basket of cars that uh, Matt at Old Valley gave me. He gave me this uh, Breadline Club. RLC, rubber wheels and tires. And I believe it was the tow truck. But it looks like someone turned it into a hauler. And I don't know the story behind him and how he got it. Yeah, RLC. 
But now I have it. It's cool. She goes. She goes. These RLC cars are much nicer than the, the mainstream stuff. Also, I love this casting. Their neighbor kids were crushing me on my track with this casting for a while. But the uh, Ford RS1600, this is from the Door Slammer series. If I remember right, there was an Alpha in that one that I was in love with, so I overlooked this one, but got one free. Free. Did I just sing that? I did. It didn't work so good. Oh, yeah. Next up. What is this? Main Hong Kong. I'm pretty sure just an XJS. Jaguar XJS. Black Wall. Black wall, two kitties. Might not know. You might not know. I got some. I got some education for this episode too. Here's a really cool car: the Star Taxi, the Police Taxi. Crazy. Makes no sense. Still black wall car. Also, and this is where I can use your guys' help. I am having trouble finding out what the heck this car is. I've seen a lot of cars with the same flame livery. All I can say is it's stamped in 88. But I don't know what it is. But it's got the coal molded wheels on there. Rubber tires. Help. Help. She goes, too. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait a second. I mean, this is just like this is the uh, other livery for the uh, police taxi car share thing. Goes it's a. I have no idea what it is, but it's OG and it's now mine. Thank you, All Valley. Oh, what's this? Bottle cap. All right. It's important. Got <laughs> some. <laughs> Somebody stripped it for its wheels. They took the Indy Racer for its wheels. Goodyear tires, no more. They're sponsored though, so they can get some more tires. Oh yeah, check out this. 57 too. Old school. Ninety-three plastic base. So it's gotta be a McDonald's car is what I was figuring. Ooh. The Matchbox Monster Van with the definite like 80s hyper varnay swatch watch livery. Again, Baja tires. That's a Matchbox, yeah. Also in there was the RLC version of the Red Baron. It's my second one. Yeah, the first one I have is the uh, 25th anniversary. And this one, this one, this paint is way cool, but it's, it's, it's RLC, Spectra Flame, top notch stuff. But what I'm going to show you lastly is really cool. And I don't know if he knew what he had. I'm sure he knew. But his collection is pretty, pretty legit. He's, he's got, he's got some high end cars. Um, and he's very focused on two styles of cars. 67 Camaros and like C10 Silverados, but he gave me this Baja breaker with the Suzuki livery. Now they, uh, now this, they did, now originally with this casting, there was, the window was split, it was a two piece window, and this one they went to one, but let me show you what's up with this casting. See what our old boy Zarnak has to say about it. Now it should be car number 10. Number 10. So very early, early release. Yep. Car number 10. White enamel, metal Malaysia base, black, red, and yellow tampo. Lost my place. Red interior, clear window. All small wheel. There it is, number 10. And then if you can see number 10, can you? Let me figure out where it is. Yep, number 10 just above my finger. 
if you can read that. And look at the value. Look at the value in that thing. Now, of course, the value has changed. It's no longer bringing $250. And I believe that's the carded version of it, too. I looked at them on eBay. I've seen some 40, 80. I've seen people selling them for 15. But an important casting. Young numbers. Now, there's also one that will bring easily a few hundred if not more and it's the exact same casting but it'll have smooth smooth uh uh smooth uh big wheels on it so big tires so it no knobs if you got that one you got some coin very rare very very rare that's a variation and with that that's the beauty in some of these older hot wheels that we overlook because we're hunting and gathering all this new stuff i gotta have the new old r33 again or t1 or whatever there's so much more to it i'm talking about it here hold on just in just go ahead and ride with this for a sec i'd like to return to the That's crucial. You don't forget to play. Love my Impalas. I was cleaning up. I was going through some of these customs that some folks have made, and you saw one at the end. I was like, man, I really want to crack some new ones and open it. So I was like, yeah, let's let's do it. And one I've just been eyeing is this silver '59 Chevy, right? Silver '59 Chevy. I said Impala, right? There's also this 59 Impala. All right. And what's even crazier about that is these are both released in the same year, different cards. This is the year 2000. And in the mid year, Hot Wheels decided to change their card. They basically went from this which was even a red colored card uh, stealth in a picture for a while to this one where they removed the Mattel logo from under it and obviously changed the card quite a bit. Now what really gets me is one is called the 59 Chevy while the other is called the 59 Impala. Now what's funny is if you don't know this, in 1958 it was a Chevy Bel Air and the Impala was a trim level. So it was like the nine, it was like a 1958 Chevy Impala Bel Air. Yeah. And in 59, the Impala became its own car. Okay. And it, it was no longer just a trim level. And the way to distinguish Impalas from your traditional Bel Airs is the triple tail lights. So I don't know if this is an error, if we can judge this as an error, because the 59 Chevy, although you can't quite see it, the casting actually has triple tail lights. As well as, well, you can't see with the sticker on the base, but it is also base plated 59 Impala. You can see it just, oh crap. 59 Impala. So I consider this an error in my book. I don't know about you guys. Let me make sure this is right. No, this is 59 Impala on the 59 Impala. So if you guys get to your local thrift stores, flea markets, so on and so forth, year 2000 cards, be sure to look for some of those variations. You know, you can find that. 99 and 98 you're gonna find cards that uh 
weirdly, I have another set of Impalas that have the distinct different color cars, cards, but same car within it. But so look for those variations. This one's number 116 of 2000. And then 133 cars later for number 249 of 2000 came that card. Cool beans. I'm looking around. I think that's about all I got for us this week. Uh, I'm excited about this Volkswagen box giveaway. Uh, it does have the uh, Zamac cool combi in it. So if you don't have one already, a couple bucks might get you one. So please, and thank you in advance for donating to the channel. If you like what you're seeing, like what you're hearing, hit the like button. I appreciate it. It goes far. It goes really far. Um, if you're not a subscriber, throw me in your channel lineup. It's free to subscribe. You got the power to unsubscribe as well. And then you definitely want that notification button just in case you need to be notified that you won. I love doing these giveaways. Foresee doing them for a while. So, uh, Thank you to everyone who contributes to the giveaway product. That's you to Godfather, uh, Big Matt as well, Puppy. And I got to thank all you guys who, who send RAOK -okay stuff. I mean, that's cool. A lot of you guys have, excuse me, been contributing to the boxes. So that's you, Bill, um, Santa Slow Dog. Uh, crap. Not crap. There's There probably is a, a crap handle, but... Thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for riding along, sending those full peg vibes to you all. Love to hear about what you found. Let me know in the comments. Holla at your boy. Peace.